All right, so if you guys look at this problem, we have 5i divided by negative 2 minus 6i. So I talked about, remember, we don't want to be dividing by negative, we don't want to divide by i, right? Because when we divide by i, i is in our imaginary number system. It's not in our real number system. So we don't, we don't have that value of it in the real number system to divide into, uh, into our values. So when we want to get rid of i off the bottom, what we did last problem was we multiplied by i. Right? And that was pretty simple because if you multiply by i, you're going to get i squared, which we know represents negative 1. But in this problem, we have a problem because I can multiply by i on the top and the bottom. But so when I do i times i, I get i squared. But I have to apply the distributive property. So that means I'm going to have to multiply i times negative 2, which is still going to leave me with an i in the bottom. right? So this is going to create a problem when we have, what we, when we have a complex number with a real and imaginary part as your denominator. So rather than multiplying by i, when I just had the imaginary part, I could just multiply by i. But since I have a real and imaginary part, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to multiply by what we call the conjugate. And the conjugate is going to be your exact same binomial or your complex number, except rather than um, you're going to just have the opposite operation. So rather than subtracting, we're going to add. So the conjugate, you can see, is what we call conjugate pairs are exactly the same, except one is going to be subtraction between the uh, real and imaginary, and one is going to be added. So whatever one you have, you're going to make sure you multiply by the opposite conjugate pair. Just make sure you multiply by that same conjugate pair on your numerator and your denominator. All right? Now, why do we want to multiply by the conjugate? So let's take a look at what happens when we multiply by the conjugate. Well, first of all, this one's pretty easy. We're just going to do distributive property, right? So we have negative 10i plus 30i squared. And we'll reduce that in a second. But let's multiply conjugate pairs. And I'm actually going to multiply it over here. Negative 2 minus 6i times negative 2 plus 6i. So if I'm going to be multiplying these two numbers, you guys can remember by using FOIL, I can do negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Negative 2 times 6i is a negative 12i. Negative 6i plus minus 2i is a positive 12i. And then negative 6i times 6i is a negative 36i squared. Now it's important, the reason why we multiply by our conjugate pair is because what that produced is a difference of two squares. And you guys notice. Then what happens to my middle terms when you multiply by conjugate pairs? They cancel, they will add up to 0, as we can say. So therefore, 4 minus, well, i squared we can represent as negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 36 is a positive 36. So we end up with actually 40 on your denominator. So I can write 40 over here. But I want to rewrite this so I can actually do, let's rewrite this as complex number form. So this becomes i squared, which is negative 1. So my final answer, well, not my final answer, but negative 30 minus 10i divided by 40. And just remember, when simplifying complex numbers, we're not done yet, Briari. Not done yet. A lot of students are going to stop at this point, and they say, hey, I got i off the bottom. But remember, we want to rewrite these as complex numbers. That means I need to have an a. Remember, it was a plus bi. So you need to separate this into your real and your complex form. So therefore, this is going to be, by reducing this, I'll have negative 3 fourths minus 1 fourth i. So what I did was I divided 40 into both of those terms. Yes? You will get marked up. Okay. So make sure you put it in complex form. All right? Cool.